clouds tonight, but as we work our way toward tomorrow morning, those are going to be clearing off to the southeast. So if you have the early soccer game tomorrow morning at 8 a.m., it might still be cloudy. The ground might be wet, but most of that wet weather will be pushing its way off to the southeast. It turns dry and pleasant here for most of the weekend and then relatively mild here for most of next week, at least by late September standards. So this is what the Fox 17 future track looks like as we work just past midnight into early tomorrow. Again, Band of scattered showers. This is going to be a, a period of several hours of some light rain in some locations and along the lake shore. I suppose there could be a rumble or two of thunder, but this is 6 a.m. tomorrow and look at how quickly this is working its way off to the east of 127. Perhaps a couple of scattered showers left behind. Then the clouds are going to clear. This is noon. We're breaking into sunshine across the entire area. Temperatures climb, although we're still going to end up a little bit below average for this time of the year when we talk about those high temps tomorrow. So this is what we're looking at tonight. Most areas down to the lower and mid 50s. There could be a couple of spots, though, especially in those traditionally cooler locations that fall into the upper 40s. We're into the mid 60s here tomorrow. Again, averages for this time of the year generally right around 70. So we're just a little bit below that. And if there is a lingering shower, it's to the far eastern areas early in the day. Extended forecast Sunday, we're at 69. But look what happens to the temperatures next week. We actually have a pretty solid ridge of high pressure that's going to build in place across the area that brings us comfortably cool overnights with lows near 50 some sunshine during the day and temperatures that will be mild for September but quite nice in the 70s.